All right, I'm back with some more Bannerlord, and today we are continuing the Yan Sheng series. So, last time, we had a bit of a minor setback, shall we say. And by minor setback, I mean we are currently in prison. The army was defeated, we have nothing, and we are locked up. So, overall, it's, uh, it's going well, guys. <laughs> we put our life on the line to defend this castle, and it was pointless. There were 200 defenders against a thousand of them, and we just couldn't hold them back. So now we have to hope that either A, we break free, or B, the war comes to an end. I'm hoping the war comes to an end, to be honest with you. Oh, hold up. We gotta make a decision who's the new owner of this castle. They want to give it to the Golden Phoenix? Ah, oh, lads, you shouldn't. I can't defend said castle, because I'm in prison. But you guys treat me well. <laughs> I wanted to show the Diplomacy tab to show that we are in 100% favour of ending the war and receiving tribute. But for some reason, no one will make the call. No one wants to be the one to say, yes, let's end this war. And I'm definitely not going to do it because I'm hoarding my influence for when I need an army. <laughs> to make things worse, not only are we in prison locked away, but if we take a look at the map, you can see there's a castle up here being sieged. And it just so happens, that is a castle that belongs to the Golden Phoenix. Oh man, we're going to lose a castle. We've already lost our army. What else can they take from us? Hold on a minute. Things might be starting to look good. The AI armies have cleared out the castle, so that's safe. And not only that, but someone has come marching over to try and free us from our chains. Oh wait, we're free anyway. He doesn't need to siege the castle. We're out, lads. What, what does one do now? I wasn't expecting to be free so soon. Alright, just for protection, we are going to join the Emperor in his attempt to siege this castle. There's only 50 of them, but I'm pretty much just hiding here while I heal. But we must get our vengeance. I swore at the end of the last video, we will get revenge for what they did to us. So, for the men, we must take out this castle. Never mind, we have decided to make peace and receive the tribute. Make up your minds, lads. Are we attacking them? Are we ending the war? War is going on. But either way, it is time to rebuild the army. And as our clan name says, we are the Golden Phoenix. And like a phoenix, we will rise from the ashes. We will come back bigger, stronger than ever. And whoever our next enemy is, better watch out. <laughs> In before we end up as a prisoner again. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, lads. I walked from this castle to this village. That is it. That is all I ever managed to accomplish today. And the Yan dynasty have started another war with someone. I don't know where they are. But we're at war somewhere. <laughs> is it these guys here? It is. We are at war with these two castles. They have no men, so I'm pretty sure we've just gone to war just to bully them. Alright, and the gang is back together. We have all of our companions. We have a fresh batch of recruits. Overall, it is not looking too bad. Alright, so now that the army is rebuilt, we're going to join our teammates in attacking these over here. We've already taken one of the castles, so there is only this one remaining. So, we may as well take them out. Maybe we can get some XP along the way and level up the troops. I have finally arrived at the castle, but by the time we got here, it's kind of pointless. There are over 2,000 of us to take down these 30 men. Either way, we are going to join the fight. I know there's only like 30 of them, but you know what? This might be the only action we get all day, so I'm going to make the most of it. It doesn't look like there's anyone up here. Um, is there anybody home? Hello? No one's answering. Hello? Anybody home? Is this castle deserted? Hello? Oh, here they come. Crossbow at the ready. The crossbow actually insta-killed some people? It's never done that before. 
Yep, too good to be true, lads. We get the initial insta kills and then that's it. Although I am just walking through this castle, just rapid firing at anyone we see. Where's that guy going? Where do you think you're going, buddy? The lone warrior defending the front gate just took a bolt to the back of the head. You get a bolt as well. Don't know who you are, but you get a bolt. Someone's firing bolts at me now. I'm hearing bolts, but I'm not seeing them. Right, you there are going to get shot. No, you're not. I missed. You there are going to get shot. You, you're going to... No. All right. Let me just reload, guys. I'll be with you in a second. He's just fleeing. That guy was stripped leaving the castle. Right, back here. Back. Back, I say. <laughs> there we go. What is going on in this siege, lads? What is this siege? The army is now all running through the front gate as if we haven't been inside the castle for the last half hour. I've just been standing here and now you decide to show up? But either way, I think this siege is over. Is that guy still pushing the ram on his own? I, I don't know what's going on, lads. You, you can't teach them these days. And he's a member of the Golden Phoenix to top it all off. That's one of my men. My guy was just pushing the ram all alone while we've taken this castle for the last, like, half hour. Oh, man. It's hard to get good soldiers these days. <laughs> but either way... This siege is over. We have won. Well, we are done here. We have conquered all of the enemy's land. They do have a little army walking around somewhere. But other than that, we're pretty much done and just waiting for the next war to start. Oh no, this isn't good, lads. We're being chased by the Blood Lotus Revenge Legion, whoever they are. Uh, hey, the Yan Dynasty. Could you lads help me out of a situation here? We have 70 Blood Lotus Revenge Legion warriors trying to cut me down and they are entirely cavalry. Um, I'm kind of scared. Could someone help? There we go. Yeah, run away. <laughs> We're just going to tag along with the armies just so I can hide from that gang over there. And the Imperial Dynasty is no more. We have defeated them. Not only did we take their land, but we also just wiped the kingdom from existence. I guess that war has officially come to an end then. I mean, we can't fight the kingdom that no longer exists. Alright, well, as there is not a lot going on right now, we may as well clear out this hideout belonging to the Wild Forest Tribe. We don't like hideouts on our land. The criminal scum must pay. Oh no, we forgot our sword. I have this axe with me. I was chopping down trees so we could build our settlement. And I forgot to put my sword back on. Well, this is a little awkward, lads. I won't lie. Hopefully we don't mess up the final battle. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit awkward. Alright, the men cleared out the bandits pretty quickly. So now it is our turn to take down the boss. My crossbow is fully reloaded. We have three bolts ready. So maybe the plan is to start the fight and instantly just unload the crossbow into the guy until he dies. He has his bow out, so he's going to be swapping weapon as well. If that doesn't go to plan, we're just going to have to pull out the axe and hope for the best. All right, here we go. Rapid fire! Die! <laughs> nice. Having a crossbow with three bolts at a time is great. Do you want a bolt as well? You can have one as well. Oh, man. We're going to slaughter everyone with this crossbow. Hold on a minute. What's going on here? We just received a notification to vote for the new owner of a castle. But if I click here, I didn't even know we were at war. And we've now received a castle. What's going on? Who are we fighting? <laughs> When did the war start? We're fighting the, the Mogrian Empire, whoever they are. We're fighting these guys up here. 
Oh man, what is it with this mod and the ability to declare war without asking the lords? It doesn't even pop up. It only pops up as a red text down here. But half the time I'm not paying attention. So I didn't even know we've been at war. <laughs> Alright, well, enough of the clearing hideouts and stuff. We are going to have to march north. We're going to have to see what damage we can do. I don't know why they've given me this castle here. It's a bit out of the way from the other two we've been given. And also, I'd like to be given a settlement over a castle. That would be nice. Oh wait, that is a settlement. Oh man, lads, I don't know what's going on anymore. We're just chatting shit. <laughs> First, I think they've given me a castle. I didn't even know we're at war. Turns out it's a settlement. Okay, right. We'll get it together. I know what's going on now. But either way, we are going to have to march north. That is the first plan. I just realized we have also tiered up the clan. We're on 378. Which means we can now go up to 115 men. I don't know what's going on today, lads. But for some reason, we have zero awareness. I didn't know I tiered up either. <laughs> All right, we need to be careful. We have officially entered enemy territory. Although that being said, all I'm seeing right now is villagers. We're trying to make it to the emperor over here so we can help him siege this castle. All right, well, on our way to join the emperor, we have run into a bit of a problem. We have been attacked by an army with 138 men known as the Obscure Soul Inquisition. This is not good. There are 138 obscure soul judge knights. And it says they are going to absolutely destroy us. Mainly because my army is 90% recruits. We are envoys from the underworld. We will punish your soul by the order of the Inquisition. Oh, what have we got ourselves into? No man or god can inquisit my soul. Alright men, the enemy are going to charge us from this river here. So... We're going to form a line and just pin them here, men. This is the plan. In terms of ranged, just go on the riverbank per there. Oh, there's only six of you, so you're not going to do much. This is not good. I have forgotten my sword once again. We still have this axe equipped. Why have I done this? We can't access our inventory in battle either. Oh no, what have I done? Without my sword, I could be useless, lads. And we have to get off the horse to reload the crossbow. I think this might be over already. Alright men. Attack. We're just going to have to try and hold them here. The kill feed is red because they are destroying us. Oh no. The entire men are getting massacred. This is over before it's even begun. We have yet to kill a single one I think. What are these soul knights? Is it too late to sound the retreat? Alright, well, we have no choice really but to surrender and we are going to be taken prisoner again. Once again, the army has been wiped out. But this is a minor setback. I'm sure the phoenix will rise from the ashes once again. Is there a limit on how many times a phoenix can rise? We'll have to read up on our Greek mythology. <laughs> we need to find out if it just gets to a certain point where the phoenix is like, yeah, I'm not coming back. We've, we've been wiped out too many times. Uh, I'm just going to die. But it is not today. We will come back from this. The problem was I was too zoomed out and I clicked to travel to the emperor, not realizing this army was waiting for us. They are willing to free us for only 2,000 gold. You know what? We will take that offer. If we take a look at our inventory, you can see they pretty much robbed us of almost everything we had. The only thing I hate about being taken prisoner is the fact that they take all your horses. You build up all those horses, you get a nice capacity, and then also you get a nice movement buff. And then they all get stolen. But either way, I think the plan is to still join the Emperor and we'll just hide in his army for the time being. And then once we get a good opportunity, we will rebuild ours. Alright, we have arrived just in time to help the Emperor take this castle. I finally remembered to put my sword back on. We're not going to make that mistake again. 
But there are 260 defenders somewhere in this castle. The enemy do have catapults, which is never good. Oh, man. The kill feed. The poor soldiers. At least we know it's not any of our men being crushed. Mainly because, well, we don't have any men. But either way, let's take down these defenders, shall we? Just going to use this little peephole, lads. We need to survive for as long as we can. All right. Hey, little buddy. You get a bolt. Have another one for good luck. You want one as well, my friend? There you go. You want one as well, buddy? You can have one. And you up there can have one. Oh, you want another one? That kill feed's not looking too good, I won't lie. The, those catapults are crushing the men. I think we've already lost the battering ram. And I think this is the only siege tower we have. Although I gotta say, it feels good to... Oh god, how many people just died then? Well, as I was saying, it feels good to have a crossbow. Last playthrough, we were using a javelin and we were basically useless until the siege equipment arrived. But now, we can actually do some damage and fight back. The more soldiers we can kill before the siege equipment arrives, the better. We're going to have an easier time taking this castle. Alright, the tower has finally arrived. And if we check the kill feed, we have already lost over 100 men to the catapult fire. The catapult fire has been brutal, I won't lie lads. Don't have a good angle on many people right now, to be honest. So it might be time to enter the castle ourselves. Alright, we're going in. We have no choice but to assist the men. The kill feed shows that we are struggling. No, don't push. Oh, lads. Really? Oh, no. All right, we're back to just fire in the... Cr Hang on a minute. You're not one of us. All right, now we're truly out to crossbow bolts and we have no choice but to climb. We need to get better armor. I need to get the really heavy Yan Dynasty armor. Right now, we're at a solid, like, middle tier. But we need to start looking like the lord that we are. We aren't just some common soldier. I am Yan Sheng, leader of the Golden Phoenix. Right, lads, I'm going to need you to stop using that uh, catapult, please. It's uh, causing a lot of casualties. Take that. Let me pull up my sword. Uh, that was slow of me. There we go. Right, please stop using the catapult. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> we just need to keep cutting through everyone. We've stopped two of the catapults, which is great. I think our men have stopped the other ones as well. So overall... Not too bad. I think this siege has finally come to an end. We're going to check out the front gate because, well, we didn't use the battering ramp. And it looks like they're running away. They just gave up the gate. Okay, we'll pop that open. Why not? Anybody still outside? Want to come in, lads? Gate's open. No? All right. Have a good day. But it looks like... We're done here. We have taken the settlement from the Mogrian Empire. The Emperor himself is thanking us. You can thank us, my friend, by giving me your dynasty. No? Okay, we tried. <laughs> the question is, where do we go from here? The army is hiding inside the settlement for a little while. I guess we just tag along with them when we're ready to leave. 
Well, speaking of being ready to leave, they are on their way already. Wait up, guys. Wait up. I want to tag along. Wait. Please. <laughs> All right. We're in the army. We're safe for now. They were nice enough to award us another settlement. We now have two settlements and two castles under our name. This is great. Once we're ready to disband from the Yan dynasty and take them over, we will have a lot of land under our name. Although, at the moment, we don't have anyone to defend that land. We, we have nothing, lads. We literally have nothing. We need to get an army of our own, profit from the wars as much as possible, and then we can fund our own companions. We can set them out so they can form armies of their own, and then we will actually be ready for a real war. But until then, we are just going to hide with the men until we can get back to safety. Alright, well, it looks like the enemy are besieging our settlement, and why are we standing here? We should fight them on the battlefield. We outnumber them. We are the Yan Dynasty. Get in there. <laughs> He's really not going to attack. He's going to allow the settlement to fall. And for what? Why are we not attacking? We have 500 more men. I can't believe this. I have to pause for a moment to try and understand what is actually going on right now. Are we genuinely going to allow the enemy to take the settlement when we have over double... Well... Not over, but almost double their men. There are just over 800 of them, and there is one and a half thousand of us. Why are we not engaging in combat and defending the settlement? And now we're engaging in combat. We've allowed them to take the settlement, and now we're in pursuit. I hate this game. I actually hate the AI sometimes. <laughs> what was the point in that? Why? Why did we allow them to retake it? It makes no sense. And now we're going to fight them anyway. Oh, man. Here we go, lads. Here we go. We have no one under our command because, well, at the moment, I am the only member of the Golden Phoenix. But as soon as we take these enemies down and secure the land, I think I'm just going to leave the army and rebuild. There is no point hanging around with these AI armies if this is what they're going to do. We may as well be more productive and go elsewhere. That being said, the enemy has a lot of cavalry. I won't lie, lads. That is a scary amount of cav. Oh, we've been hit by a horse. We're just going to get the crossbow out. Anyone who comes near me gets a bolt. All right, come on, men. Oh, I've been kicked by a horse again. Do you mind? All right, that's one of you. Oh, I've been kicked by a horse again. All right, next guy to kick. You're going to... I can't cope with this, lads. They're not even hitting me. They're just kicking me with their horses. It's just rude. Oh, my God. No one was on that horse and it kicked me. Oh, we shot a friendly. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> don't even know what I'm shooting at now. Right, you be there. How did we miss that one then? Here we go. That's two hits on you. We shoot that guy. That's him gone. Pop another one over there. We missed that one. You get a crossbow bolt. I have another one. And third one for good. You're still alive? How are you still alive after three? There we go. All the men have run off to fight them in close combat. And here I am just standing in the middle of the field trying to shoot people. Right, that's another one. That will do nicely. Can we get that one? There we go. That's another one. And another. We're on a roll now, lads. Don't kick me. Right, there we go. We got a tag at least. Oh, don't know where that one went. Don't know who you are, but you're getting a few bolts. He's dead. Oh, hey, buddy. He's dead. Well, 
This side of the field is now clear. I wonder if I can actually jump on this horse and head up. Nope, we can't. This guy's having a bit of trouble. Can we kill this guy? Oh, he's getting away. He is getting... Oh, no. All right. We're going to have to try and catch up the rest of the army and start cutting down these foes. All right. We have arrived on the battlefield. It is time to cut them up and we hit a horse. All right. You there. There we go. We're just going to start swinging, lads. We've got some reinforcements coming in. If I just slip on past, here we go. Right, let's stack some kills then, shall we? Apparently I'm too slow. This this isn't good. My athletic skill is not what it used to be, it seems. There we go. That's one recruit. We're farming the recruits. Hang on a minute. Have the enemy recruited demons? That was a demon, right? <laughs> All right, we're getting some decent kills now. This is actually pretty good because we'll level up our stats quite a bit fighting these. We could do with leveling the athletic skill a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, but either way, it looks like we're done here. The enemy is in a full retreat. This has gone pretty good, guys. We managed to kill 37 of them. And now we are going back to reclaim the settlement that we just allowed them to take. Really, lads? <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? At least there's no garrison or anything. We didn't give them a chance to stack the settlement. So it's just a quick in and out and we should be able to reclaim it. Are you really going to build siege equipment? Okay, yep. Get the battering ram for all 12 of them. And now we're going to hide inside. Okay. Alright, well, I won't lie. That was a bit of a disaster. That was a poor play from the AI. But as I said, going forward, I'm probably going to ditch the army and we're going to run off and rebuild our own. There's no point hiding with them anymore if this is what they're going to do. It'll probably be more beneficial to just recruit their own men and do whatever needs to be done. So the plan for next time, we need to rebuild the army. We need to start profiting from the war. We need to find lords that we can take out on our own. And then we can ransom them, sell the battle gear, etc. And build up those funds. Once we've got enough funds, we will then recruit some companions... And we will send them on their way. The three companions we have at the moment are considered family. So they don't take up any slots. So therefore we'll get a couple companions and we will tell them to form a party. And we will start expanding the Golden Phoenix clan. And then we can continue with our plan of conquering the Yan dynasty. I'm still not too sure how we're going to pull it off. Whether we do it through civil war or not. I'm not too sure. Do we just hang around till the emperor dies and see if they vote us as new emperor? Do we take the easy way out? Nah, we can't do that. We are the golden phoenix. We're going to have to start a civil war. Maybe we can convince some of the lords to join us if they like us enough. But otherwise, it's probably going to be a brutal war to decide who the new ruler of the Yan dynasty will be. But that is going to be it for this part of the Yan Sheng series. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.